G'day everybody, Mitch here again, and welcome or welcome back to your favorite Model T Ford channel. As you probably figured out from the title of this video, we're putting some new coils in the Model T today, or to be more specific, I'm on my way to pick those coils up. Uh, basically what's happened is, well, at least one of Liz's coils has been uh, acting up. I'm pretty sure I know which one it is, but to be on the safe side, I'm going to uh, have them tested by uh, someone who's got a lot more Model T expertise than I do. Uh, the gentleman in question, um, so he's from Port Macquarie. We're just coming into Port Macquarie now, actually. And uh, I say he's he's in his 80s, put it that way, and he's in the process of selling off a lot of his car, a lot of his vintage cars and Model Ts and that sort of thing. And uh, he was uh, good enough to, uh, or through a friend of mine, um, was uh, good enough to get in contact and uh, say, well, I've got a whole bunch of Model T parts here. Would you like? Would you be interested? So. I said, well, I'm definitely definitely looking for some uh, some new trembler coils, or at least some replacements. Um, and he's uh, very kindly uh, offered me a, a new set of coils, or at least some refurbished ones, um, for considerably less money than I would have had to have paid out for new ones. So we're just literally just around the corner from his house now. In fact, there's our turn off right there, and uh, we shall see what other treasures he has available for us as well as well as the coils. Anyway, as I say, we'll find out uh, which one of my coils is, uh, is the culprit and causing Liz to run a bit, uh, oh, she's not behaving herself, put it that way. Um, anyway, we're just about to pull up to his house now, so I will stop the video for now and we'll rejoin the action very shortly. Yeah, that's too much this too. coil was running a little bit of the high yeah, side, so we adjusted this one up and uh, backed it that, off a little. That shouldn't, that shouldn't make it miss and play up, I don't think. That one's pretty good, that's well on. So that this one. coil, as you can see, is good. pretty well spot on. And this coil was also running a little bit high, so it also needed to be too. toned down a little bit. You're not steady? Yep. And as you can see here with the wooden like, oil like, boxes, like the uh, all of these ones that we tested were all working perfectly well. <laughs> and they no, all had a no, nice steady bang. spark yep. to them. The papers used to come in them. That's a little bit about 16, but that's pretty well on 15. See, he's sparking a bit, see? Yep. A little bit of spark coming out of him. My old mate around the corner, old Reg, remember Reg? He says, do him, do him on, on his ear. Oh! About 16, a bit over. No, not about 15, isn't it? Close enough. Yeah. Okay, and for a real treat, um, he cranked up his 1914 Touring uh, so that we could test out my coils and see if they were actually working properly and I'm pleased to say they were actually working properly which <laughs> helps me to narrow down more specifically what was actually wrong with my Model T. As you have just seen, there's actually nothing at all wrong with those coils as it turns out. But on closer inspection of my coil box at home, I have actually noticed that one of the contacts for one of the coils is actually broken. Now it's not broken to the point where the coil won't work at all, but it is broken enough that it's causing the coil to be uh, powered intermittently, which is obviously not good. So, as well as the uh, wooden coils that you've just seen, 
Uh, I've also picked up some new contacts and uh, porcelain tubes. So that'll be another video coming up as well, is to rebuild my coil box. So that'll be an interesting video for you guys to enjoy. Uh, so it's now just uh, just after quarter past five in the evening and I'm heading back home from Port Macquarie. Uh, so I'll wrap up this video for now so you'll uh, you'll see the, um, the rebuild of the coil boxes in the next video. So until then, uh, take care out there everybody and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and obviously don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Helps, uh, helps keep this channel going, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.